soon after talking. I don't know about to watch. <laughs> Half a tank of diesel. Yep. And below a half a tank of DEF. Yeah, I can't go that until it's fourth. Okay. Right. Yeah, when winter gets here, it'll be a half. Right. That's because the buses have to run longer in the winter for heat. I think that is somewhat ridiculous. I mean, you got to keep yourself warm. That's a dump truck. What? That was a dump truck with LEDs. I think that's the first time I've ever seen LEDs on a dump truck. It is a rapidly advancing technology. I mean, who knows? The next bus that IC makes might have them. Gotta love the sound of that engine fan.
shut it down and swept the bus and just started up when we left. So it's I don't like the way that sound is when it's trying to get going and get here. Ah. But it makes it sound like a big truck. Well, yeah, because you're right next to the engine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just imagine if the bus was a pusher instead of a puller. Then the engine sound would be from the rear. And the bus would have air brakes. And not a Honda one. Right. The horn that would scare somebody say, oh no, you know. I don't know why they put Honda horns on these. I have no idea. People look at it and stare and they'll just start laughing with it like, really? That came from that? And then they would, yeah, they are thinking, I thought it came from an uh, a, a 2003 Honda Accord. Man, I wish I lived in a state where all the buses were air brakes. Nice. Air brakes and CNG. Ah, they don't even use diesel, they use natural gas. Might want to put your left turn signal on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but I turned the wheel and shut it off. Oh, boy. That bus driver is going to think it came from the Honda in front of him, or in front of us. Well, I told her to go. She doesn't even have her lights on. She shut them off so we can go. Wow. A lot of people don't even take what they learn seriously. Yeah, I know, until they get an accident. Oh, <laughs> it's also how they can get parking violations and stuff. Yep. Like down in Texas, using the parking brake is a law. So if you don't have a working parking brake or you don't even pull it, you're going to get a ticket. Well, that's all states to a bus. For a car. Oh. I mean, here in Illinois, uh, using the parking brake is not required by law, yeah. but I use it because, well, it's a parking brake. It's meant to be used when parking. You don't have to. I don't use mine. Yeah, I Well, you should. Yeah, what for? <laughs> That's what park is for.
Ah, just so that if the parking lock fails, you still got the brake. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night, Right, she's Oh my goodness, it is my fault. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have Save a good your night. Life. Bye. Hello. Have a good Thank night. You. You're welcome. Well, she didn't throw her trash away, so I wonder if she threw it on the floor or stuck it in between the seats. I'd be interested to see what you did. Huh. However, I did read on the Illinois um, parking rules that if you are parking on a hill, then it is required by law. That's different, yes. Just like you turn your wheels the right way, up hills left, down hills to the right. And I always uh, pull my parking brake switch up before I shift to park. All right, well, see you tomorrow. I shall be here. It was an interesting. I'll die or something, but I'll be here. <laughs> it was an interesting hump day. Yep.